Hello everyone, I'm Rob Hinman, Dodd Hinn Realtors. Say, it's 2020, just a couple weeks into the, the new year. Wanted to go over a couple things with you and uh, some sales that had happened last year and even the previous year. Uh, kind of interesting numbers. Overall, the uh, dollar amount of homes that were sold in Dickinson County or the Iowa Great Lakes area la last year was more than the 2018 time. It was kind of interesting. On, um, for Westlake properties, we had about 24 homes that had sold last year in 2019, and the previous year it was 40. And uh, Eastlake this year was quite a bit higher than the previous year. Eastlake properties in 2019, there was 57 of those properties that sold. And it's kind of weird, in 2018 there was only 25 homes. So those numbers, even though they were high on Eastlake this year and low on West, um, those numbers kind of turned around and reversed. Big Spirit properties uh, that are on the lake up there, not too big of a change there, maybe six new ones this year over the uh, the 2018 year. In 2019 it was, uh, I should say it was 33 homes sold on Big Spirit in 2019 and in 2018 there was 27 homes that sold on Big Spirit. Uh, the town properties, that's another kind of an interesting number, those numbers were down this year compared to the previous year. I should say 2019 they were down. Uh, there was only like 108 homes that had sold uh, on, in the town of Spirit Lake in the previous year. There was 129 for 2018. The city of Arnold's Park and, and Okaboji, not a lot of uh, town properties come up for sale there. Those, uh, when they do come up, they usually sell fairly quick because of the location and proximity of all the activities. Uh, but they were pretty much the same. 2018 was 25, 2019 was 26. Um, these numbers that I'm, I'm giving you are from our MLS, the Lakes uh, Multiple Listing Service. Uh, there could be some more sales, just the private ones that uh, we did not know about or that didn't go through the MLS. Westlake condos, they're pretty much about the same. Uh, 2018, there was 14 of those sold, and in 2019, there was only 12. Eastlake condos, there was kind of a big difference. In 2018, there were 70 of those home, condos that had sold that, are on, that were on Eastlake and uh, only 57 of those sold in 2019 sales. Uh, it could contribute to that uh, just wasn't a lot of availability on, uh, for condominiums in 2019 compared to 2018. That's why I think that number is down. We'll see that increase this year. I know that there's a couple other condominium complexes that are gonna be going up and they'll get some pre-sales on those also. And I think they have a little bit of carryover, not much uh, from 2019 that they, when they started to sell those. Uh, till now and I know they're uh, working on getting those sold now. The off-lake condominiums that were in our area, those price ranges are anywhere from about 120 all the way up to 250 and they might just be in the town of, they could be in Spirit Lake, they could be in Okaboji Arnold's Park. That number was uh, pretty much a huge difference between one year to the next. 2018, there was 25 of those homes that are uh, condominiums that had sold. And in 2019, there was 47. Uh, and I contribute that to a little bit more a variety of people were putting them on the market. Our market is extremely strong yet. Uh, the economy is doing wonderful. Interest rates are still low, and I think they're gonna to continue to stay low according to all the experts that are predicting things uh, from here on out and even into 2021. So if you're thinking about jumping up to a bigger home or even downsizing to a smaller home, uh, give us a call here at Downton Realtors. Uh, our phone number is 712-336-1240 or check us out online at buyokaboji.com. Thanks again for listening. Have a wonderful day and uh, say something nice to somebody. Make them feel good. Thanks.